Alright you guys, welcome back to some more Slayer Spire and welcome back to another daily. Today we're playing as the Ironclad with Curse Run, all the good curse things, so Curse, Key, Dark Stone Priped and Dubu Doll. Uh, time dilation, all enemies start with slow debuff. It's interesting but not really needed if you've got Curse Run. And Deadly Events, question rooms now contain, can now contain elites but are also more likely to contain treasure. Good stuff. So, we want to hit as many question marks and elites as possible, we want to gain strength. Curses and strength as quickly as possible. We want to look out for probably a rupture if we can get that because curses like pain then give us extra. Obviously, blue candle as well if we can find that. Okay, so let's start counting the weeks. We've got one, 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 one on every path so far. Hmm, that's disappointing. Um, if we go this way, we've got one, two, three question marks. So we want to probably go this way. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll go up through the shop, hit a few question marks. Okay, we are taking a little bit of damage here. It's not quite going to kill him. So let's just get both of them to curl up this turn. That's fine. So both dead this turn. So a slow start, but that's fine. Ah, da -da -da -da. Let's try war cry. Something different from us. Okay, there's nothing great here. So I'm gonna hold out for now. Let's go this way. Uh we will become cursed. Let's get that strength going already. Okay, we can afford to block twice, and that also stacks time dilation as well quite nicely, so very worth it. Let's just get that gone. I'm not going to see it anyway. Okay, perfect strike is probably going to be great if we can get that working for us. Okay, another curse, so extra strength, got a tiny chest as well, which does make treasure even more likely. I'm not sure how that stacks with um, deadly events, but... No idea. Okay, so we'll do strike, strike, perfect strike. Get our time dilation up. Okay, we will pop this. Also pops time dilation quite nicely. Taking a tiny bit of damage, but that's not a problem. Can you pop that that way? Getting two regrets early is uh, disappointing. We're going to play these just for time dilation. And then he is pretty much dead next turn regardless of what we draw. There we go. That's fine. I'll just move stone is fine. Uh, we'll take twin strike. Makes perfected strike better as well. We'll upgrade the perfected strike. Worth. Keep heading up. Okay. Any zero energy cards as well stack very nicely with the uh, like the time dilations stuff. And, you know, first turn kill, very nice. Uh, I'm going to take cleave for some AOE. Let's go this way. The sundial's fine. So we're already free strength up. We do have some bad curses, I'll admit, but if we can just find something like blue candle. We'll be in an excellent condition. Get this out there, get rid of that. And then just don't even need to time dilate. Okay, shrug it off and take some extra block. Let's just hit question marks. We don't have that much money. Not the greatest turn. I'm going to stack that on him as well. He's dead. Alright, Calcum, very useful. Uh, take Anger, just because of time dilation. Okay, there's a shop here anyway. Take Pennib, take Seam Red, take Flash of Steel. I think that's all we need. Sure. I mean, we can probably survive against you pretty easily. I've already done it once before. Get rid of that. 
May as well pop that. We're going to be here for a few turns. Okay, even that's like 30 damage turn. Okay, we do want to block. Should get you. Nice, we don't. Giri is very interesting as well. Thundercup or Twin Strike. Thundercup does scale with strength quite well, as does Twin Strike, but you know, we can uh, do something like this and be in a good place. Okay, let's get rid of the curse. Didn't need to play that and just played it just because. Should have played this first, oh well. He's dead. Let's not mess around. Don't really need another one, but we'll take it. Uh, I'm gonna whiff here. Right, good HP standing. And we're gonna full heal after this as long as we survive. Should be pretty easy to do. Main problem is going to be defense here. So we can afford to hit him once. I'm going to see what we draw. Okay, let's just hold out then. Slightly annoying that we can't get to enough block. We're taking damage anyway, so let's just hit him. Okay, he's dead probably next turn. Yeah, there you go. So we did take damage, but not what we could have done. Um, Feed's great, but we're getting max hit. HP for Wazoo. Let's take the Reaper. Scales well with the strength. Uh, we don't need any extra energy, so we'll take Calling Bell. Three extra strength and three good relics. we the right call there. I do want to hit a shop. This way is looking tempting right now. Through that first shop, we've got one elite, two elites. Okay. You've got one elite. You've got one. Okay, so yeah, we'll start here and then work our way left. Our first turn is currently abysmal. Because <laughs> of all these terrible curses. As long as we can just get something that gets rid of them. Light blue candle. In a great place. And we basically just rely on the Reaper coming to get a full heal from that. Pommel Strike is entirely worth it. Uh, we don't need Apparition, although it is good and we can probably afford it. Well, Lantern's probably the right call there. And then another Protected Strike. I mean, it's not really needed, but it will hit all of them. I'm blocking for enough there. Okay, that's fine. You should be dead next turn. There we are. We're at full HP. Rupture is huge. Definitely need that. We were going this way. Yeah. Not many question marks, but more elites. Okay, we need a cleave here and probably a reaper to get back up. I mean, I don't think we're going to play the rupture. 
because we should be in a pretty good place here. Let's just play that. And we won't take any damage because we'll block the six. I mean, we'll take the curse damage, but that's fine. And then you're dead. There we are. Flame barrier could work. I'm going to take the headbutt instead, though. It's quite a bad start in hand. Let's see if we can get something better. It's not really worth it, but we have the energy, so sure. Let's get rid of you. Play one of them. Blue Candle, that's just what we're after. Uh, Carnage is great as well. Gonna whiff again. One Reaper at good strength when we're sorted. We'd like a Limit Break, I think that'd be huge for us as well. If we had Rupture, I'd play these. Because we don't, it's not super important. Just focus you. Pretty much kill you this turn. Six. No, it's not quite enough, actually. So we are going to take four damage, but that's fine. Okay, we will play this, and now it's worth it to play that. and get extra strength. Probably could have played that in the other order, but either way, it's the same thing. Okay. Heavy weight's starting to get real good, so we'll take that. Paper Frog is useful. Decay as well is not a bad curse, because that's just damage that you can block. Okay. I really wish we started with Rupture. That'd be very nice. We'd take less damage if we play that, so... That's fine. I mean... Just do that for extra time dilation damage. We can probably kill him. 36. And then, yeah. Let's not worry about blocking if you can just kill him. Bag of Marbles is huge for that as well. Limit Break is a must. We just need to upgrade that so it doesn't um, disappear. Doesn't exhaust, that's the word I was thinking of. Flex is not needed. Something like a Cleave would work. Pummel obviously works well as well. Sword Boomerang, that scales well with strength. Here's some better draw there. Speaking of which, let's pop this. That's huge. There we go. Take another Rupture. See what we get out of this. Yeah, get rid of that. Just finish him, and then he's dead as well. It's all so easy. Uh, I don't like any of them, unfortunately. Guess dual wield. It's okay. Okay, not a bad first turn. There we go. Do you want to see that Reaper come round again? Uh, just so we can get a good heal. Uh, I'm just going to lift. I was going to upgrade a limit break, but... I mean, one use of it is fine. We're already at, what, 11 strength per turn. Let's get rid of that. 
play with that. Let's see what this gives us. Thundercup will actually go on to him next turn. May as well throw that on him as well. We have Pen Nib for next turn as well, so we can get like a Heavy Blade or Perfected. That's good. So it's worth doing that. I think. Taking Reaper, but that's fine. Where it breaks more annoying to take. Okay, now it's worth playing that. 27. Ugh, 25. Okay, I'm going to play this a bit unorthodox and do that that way. We lost Reaper, but we can bring it back with a headbutt if we can get one. Okay, I'll play these for extra strength. Not quite dead, huh? So taking damage here. The score's not going to be great, but now yeah. see what you give me. Okay, just get rid of that one. Yeah. Good stuff. Probably double tap. Don't really need any of these. Don't need the extra energy. We'll take White Beast Statue. I suppose. Okay. We got one. Two. And that one. Same with that one. Might be a better option. Then the weight shop, yeah. We'll go this way. There's a lot of question marks. This might get some hidden elites. Now you're just dead anyway, so let's not worry about that one. Hemokinesis works with rupture. We will definitely fight you. And you may as well dual wield it. You get some draw out of these. Not great, huh? They're taking damage. I'd like to see Reaper. Probably not going to happen. No. Yeah, well. There was a chance. Incense Burn is huge as well. Take the Pummel. Keep going this way. I will obtain a special relic. So that upgrades one card every turn. For the rest of combat. Okay, let's stack some time dilation. Okay, we are taking quite a bit. It's fine. Let's go to that first. He's at least taking five from each, so... I'm not worried about hitting him when he's intangible, because the boot guarantees at least five damage. That being free is big. Get that out there. Ooh. It's not a good turn. Play them to rupture. Definitely play that first because it's a pain. Quite literally. There we go. Pummel kills him. Whetstone's big. Uh, take more angers just for time dilation purposes. Extra strength. Not that we need it, but I'll gladly take it. So we're at 15 strength up at the start of every fight. We're intangible as well. Um, let's go with this just for the draw. Okay, we did 276 damage that turn. <laughs> Play that, definitely. If we can guarantee we start with Rupture, we'd be in an amazing spot. So if we do find Bottle Tornado, that's obviously something we want to do. 
it's not all I can do is hardly worth defending either. Twenty-four damage. Happy flowers, big. Take evolve. Not if it's needed, but sure. I mean, this isn't needed at all. Can you like spread the damage around? That'd be nice. Okay, that's like a must. Wood potion's fine, take havoc, that's pretty good. Okay, shop. So no bottled tornado, we can add an extra rupture though. Strawberry's pretty good. And then we'll hold the rest because we are going to go up to another shop in just a second on season top. Kinda works, we can play the curses to get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of them, but we will probably just end up playing them. Anyway. So let's see what on season top does. Is oh, never mind. He's dead. Havoc is good. This doesn't become an 8, does it? No, it comes free. Hmm. Some great double tap. Inflame's not ne really needed. Uh, I guess you take Centennial. And then, because we're all out of shops and stuff now anyway. So I swipe before the boss, basically. Okay, Evolve works. Let's get rid of these. He might actually be dead. He's dead. One Scales is big. Uh, let's go to that for a steroid. Not that we need it, but sure. Take Twin Strike. Okay, one more fight. Good Cleave or a good Reaper would be huge here. It's not going to happen though. Oh, should have played the Pain earlier. Perry in a bottle shouldn't be needed, hopefully. I mean, if you upgrade, what do you upgrade at this point? Upgrade a heavy blade? Sure. Probably not going to need it. Just stack that in case we need it. Okay, that's a nice thing to play immediately. Uh, definitely should have played one and then played that and then played that, but he's dead. Such an easy daily. This is nice. 12 12, not a great score. Let's see where we rank. So we only got one perfect boss, three perfect elites. We got some overkills, got plenty of curses. 15 question mark rooms. It's pretty good. Everyone probably just went the same route on that one and just executed it better. There you go, 242nd place, which is technically 234th place. Not bad at all. There you go. If you like this episode, do hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, follow all the relevant things in all the relevant places. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks.